Are you going to say something? Oh, no. I was going to ask, though, have you ever wore a shiesty before? Nah, I have no reason to wear a shiesty. Try this on, bro. All right. Fuck it, dope. <laughs> the Crab Dummy Podcast, episode 81 for you. F- Let's get it. <laughs> bro, wearing a shiesty has to be the funniest thing. Nah, this shit make me super aggressive, bro. I've- I want to slap the shit out you, low key. Because <laughs> I feel like there's some girls around. I slap the fuck out <laughs> on all them grades. <laughs> they say, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I see why this shit make you extra aggressive. Like even if you wasn't thinking about robbing some shit, yeah, I'll right. To some shit, and then realize, like, damn, why the fuck I just break in here? <laughs> God, you breaking into Walmart during normal hours? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, dude. Do, I don't know how dudes do it though. This shit kind of hard to breathe in. Nah, if you're not spinning shit and you got a uh, poo shiesty mask on, you got to be ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to want to cover your face? I just... <laughs> you know, it's people out here ain't even committing crimes wearing a shiesty mask. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, do something. You need to, <laughs> like, put I, some lotion on, nigga. I saw a dude in Target wearing one. This is the, safe, this is the, the safest place on earth. <laughs> nigga in Starbucks dreaming a frat with his poo shiesty <laughs> mask on. Like, damn. Yo, ops don't come to Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, nah, they only hang out at Dunkin'. Nigga, I'm safe over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's start the show off with a would you rather, since we got these shiesty masks on. Would you rather have intercourse with a dolphin or... Bro, nah, <laughs> we cutting the podcast, bro. <laughs> Take that shit off. <laughs> Why are you drinking? No, we done, bro. <laughs> bro, we... I, I forgot. Nah. How did they do it? You're not about to embarrass us like that. <laughs> you can't drink. The... <laughs> I think this this is probably the most efficient way to, to drink. You know, niggas that wear shiesties don't be drinking their water and shit. Bro, this this <laughs> looks. Which looks what what looks more like intimidating? Me doing this. Or me pulling my mask down to drink. I just gave up my whole cover. That is true. That is true. I'm being efficient. Okay. I'm trying to <laughs> stay right, we undercover. Take, we gotta take this shit take off. This dumbass shit off. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, episode 82. Is it 82? It's 82. I'm your host, Patricio. <laughs> That's your host, Kunta. Miguel. Whoa. <laughs> Quinta Quinte. Uh, uh, uh. What's the deal, man? You know what I hate, though? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just to get started right away, I hate when people say, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. Like, nigga, yes, I would. Like what? Like somebody getting in a car accident and fly out the front of you. Oh, my God. The thing I saw, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you want your enemies to suffer that much? Yes. Are there people out there that you really don't dislike that much? Yeah, one person. Who? I can't tell you them because they probably don't even know. But when they on their deathbed, boy, will I be there. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up to somebody's funeral that you don't like is kind of crazy. That's crazy that you ain't seen it in a while. Yeah, that's some devious la- shit. You laughing in the back. <laughs> he was a good man. <laughs> he don't look that good right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the nigga looks pale in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, man. Is he nervous? Because he's pretty stiff. You saw right. uh, Russia threatens nuclear war on, on Ukraine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't us, though. <laughs> the, reason, the reason I bring it up, though, is yeah, like... It ain't us, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got any listeners in Ukraine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Remember, it's audio in heaven. I'm just so tired of these countries <laughs> pump faking nuclear war. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, You're somebody not, do it already. Right. Somebody, I want to <laughs> see what that shit is. <laughs> I try to see what that shit's about. Come on. I try to see some shit disintegrate. <laughs> Ain't this what y'all said it do? All this pump I'm trying to see acid rain, all this wild shit. All this shit. All the bugs gonna take over. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, stop pump faking, nigga. Shoot something, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I could be president. A nuclear weapon. <laughs> nigga, you better. Hey, if it's up, it's stuck, nigga. You but, just press the button like shit. <laughs> shit, I thought he was gonna hit it first. Shit. <laughs> You said you, you got your hand on the button. Nigga, Isn't that crazy? It's shit. just like everybody's just pointing a gun at each other, just waiting for somebody to pull the trigger. Waiting somebody to flinch. Somebody's yeah. going to pull that shit one day. <laughs> nah, Russia really waiting for anybody to try that shit. I know. They got to watch out because it'll like Putin. Um, 
I think he's sick or something That's like that. That's what they're that. saying, yeah. Yeah, you got to watch out. Shout out to all our Russian uh, listeners, though. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. Shout out to y'all, man. Man, if y'all on that side, man, fuck you. Not playing. <laughs> it's crazy, though. We probably got listeners from Russia, Ukraine, and they beefing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, this is, see, Russia and you, our Russian uh, listeners and our Ukrainian listeners, this is where you merge and become one. We're all we're all crash dummies at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that fun that crash dummies is a, a insult? <laughs> Every time I see it on the Twitter, them boys are a bunch of crash dummies. Yeah, crash dummies mean like you don't care about your life. Yeah, like you just reckless as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember somebody <laughs> stitched our video one time. This one we was uh, coming up, and mm-hmm. this dude with more followers had stitched our video, and everybody was like, well, I guess they living up to their name. They crash dummies for real. Yeah. <laughs> I was writing the comments like, get off my dick, bitch. <laughs> Hey, bro, one thing I got to say, um, now I'm not coaching in college no more mm-hmm. and shit like that. Bruh, weed is too good, bro. What? Weed. Weed? Yeah. Now I can actually talk about smoking mm-hmm. weed. Mm-hmm. Mike smoke weed, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Get on this nigga. <laughs> you know, the cops listen like, hell yeah, I know he did. It's illegal in Wisconsin. We be going all in Chicago and smoking. <laughs> <laughs> this is all cat. <laughs> what Dirk say? Um, him. No, weed too good, bro. So, you know, I'm very intrigued by weed names. Mm-hmm. Like, people be like, oh, this that Superman. This shit'll make you fly. Yeah. Oh, this shit, uh, that Wonder Woman. This shit'll make you wrap a lasso around your neck and hang yourself. Nah, I'm just playing. But, <laughs> <laughs> my fault. My fault, my fault, my fault. But not, and then <laughs> they be like, this shit Aquaman, this shit make you want to drown yourself. But, <laughs> but listen, this nigga, this nigga weed, he sold me some weed and he said, it's called You'll Be Back. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck that mean? You'll Be Back. I'm like, I'll take a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I smoked it and, and I didn't get high and I was mad as fuck. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So I went back to his house like, bruh, what the fuck is this? And then he was like, what did I tell you it's called? And at the same time, we said, you'll be back. I was like, fuck. Oh my. <laughs> hey, I let him slide because, <laughs> hey, he ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was right. I came right back. I just didn't know why. <laughs> I thought it was, you'll be back. This shit's so good, you'll be back. Yeah, I thought hey. I was going to put you to sleep and or yeah. make you feel like you're dead and you came back to life. Nigga sold me some stinky CBD. <laughs> He got me. <laughs> All the goddamn stems in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, something I was thinking about today. So, egg prices are up, right? Yeah. But McDonald's egg muff- uh, sashimi muffins are still the same price. Oh, shit. So, are they really using eggs? Or they got a plug. <laughs> a- egg <laughs> plug is crazy. Oh, you got an egg plug. <laughs> 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 Nigga, them illegal eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they giving us ostrich eggs and shit, yeah. but they'd be owning their own farms and shit. But still, <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, "Oh yeah, that don't affect McDonald's it's duck eggs, nigga." They <laughs> 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 never told you. I'm gonna go into the thing. I'm be the first person to ask McDonald's. Hey, we never asked where the eggs come from. <laughs> Just seeing they go missing. <laughs> You wake up to a clown punch You ain't bitch ass nigga Why you so curious <laughs> Hey, speaking You start you disappearing shit No but speaking of McDonald's There was a um, There was a dude Who accidentally Got a bunch of money In mm-hmm. his McDonald's bag I guess it was like Like the You know when Stores be transferring money To a bank I think they put it In a McDonald's bag And accidentally gave it to him When they were supposed to give him His meal Yeah and I think it was like I don't know, it was around twenty thousand dollars. It was like yeah, it was like fifty thousand something like that. Yeah, something like that. I wish I uh, had the thing here. He, but get, he returned it back, and then he got two hundred dollars in a reward money. Two hundred dollars. I would never return any type of money like that. Fuck no. Unless I physically know who it's from. But it, it was a good story because it was a bunch of it looked like a bunch of Hispanic women and they was crying because they knew how it fucked up. They probably was gonna lose their job. That's the other part. People lose your job? Think. How though? A bag full of money? Why was the money in the bag? One of them probably fucked up. Like, that's probably how they usually transfer it or something like that. One of them fucked up. Nah, they deserve to lose their job for that thing. They kind of do this. Yeah. Thing, <laughs> that's reckless. And you them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't do that, bitch, I know you can't make a McGriddle. And they probably still... <laughs> 
And they probably still got fired though. Is this a waffle on my shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably still got fired. If I was a boss, I still would have fired the ass. What's the worst mistake McDonald's has ever made for you? Bro, one time uh I asked for um <laughs> One time I asked for no onions and I got the burger and it was all onions. <laughs> I said, nah. <laughs> I ordered a McChicken one time. There was literally no chicken on it. Yeah, that's crazy. No, <laughs> the worst, the, the most common mistake that happens is when I say, can I get a sausage egg McMuffin? And it just end up giving me a sausage McMuffin. Yeah. Or <laughs> one time I got just an egg, <laughs> which is even more disrespectful. Like, bitch, who's ever ordered this? <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you? An egg McMuffin is kind of crazy. God damn, Lord, that shit the fourteen fifty. <laughs> don't need fifteen doing that shit. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> give me the robot, nigga. <laughs> All right, give me the kiosk machine. You, you heard um, stupid in this bitch. <laughs> you heard uh, Young Miami saying that she likes getting to get peed on. You could have just said go ahead and shower. Um, yeah, Young Miami like go ahead and showers. You know the thing. We don't kink shame here at Crash Summies Podcast. No, nah, I'm kink shaming. <laughs> Fuck that. You like getting pissed on, you nasty. Nah, yeah. but I love young Miami. But <laughs> you know she all she do is mess with billionaires. Cause it gotta be a bunch of billionaires just bored. <laughs> they didn't, you know, billionaires that had five some, six mm-hmm. sums. They have all the girls they want, and now what's left. That's why them dudes over in, in Dubai be doing. Be peeing on girls, yeah, pooping on girls. They be bored, bro. Yeah, but still, <laughs> a golden shower is crazy because she I, has enough. She has enough money not to be getting a golden shower. And the other thing is, mm-hmm. like that has to be at the end, right? You think so? Yeah, there's no way you can come back from a golden shower. There's no more kissing, hugging. Like you got to go wash off immediately after. Ah, uh, yeah, that's crazy. It, I wonder if it's at the end of the beginning. A golden shower is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> What's if oh. a golden shower with like no sex involved? Uh, yeah, man. I just strictly peeing. Yeah, I'm moving on. Man. <laughs> Can't do it. So, bro, I got a story, bro. So, a while back, I was at my aunt's funeral, my great aunt's funeral, mm-hmm. right? And you know, it's a sad scene. Uh, very strong woman. Uh, Everybody's, you know, crying and, you know, the organs playing and sad music. And now people are taking turns saying, going up to the mic and saying good things about her. So, you know, everybody crying, emotional. And now my cousin goes up there and the music stops. Everybody like, damn, what happened to the music? And I hear instrumentals start playing. And and this nigga started freestyling. <laughs> At my auntie funeral. <laughs> was it about her at least? It was about her. <laughs> no way. I'm telling you, bro. We could call him right now. All right. What's his number? Send me his number. All right. Hello. Yo, welcome to Crash Jimmy Podcast, bro. This is Pat, your cousin. <laughs> what up, cuz? Hey, hey, I was just telling him the story. Uh, uh, how, how you was, uh, I was just telling him the story of how you was freestyling at auntie funeral. Man, I know you ain't tell nobody that shit. <laughs> Man, go ahead, bro. Just just show him the freestyle, bro. Man, <laughs> yeah, girl, he was pissed as hell. It was like, I'm sorry, auntie. No, 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 no. That ain't like that. It's for cancer. <laughs> I really meant to kill you. God should have made you die, but tonight he took my fucking auntie. <laughs> Dog, daddy was mad at me. Hey. <laughs> Don't tell nobody else that bullshit, man. What do you got going on, man? Hey, my fault. Hey, he didn't believe me, though. Man. <laughs> Hey, hey, bro, man, hey! Go, go ahead and plug whatever you got to plug. <laughs> plug, hey, plug. <laughs> no way, bro! I told you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. For all y'all to think my story's fake out there, stop playing. I told you, anything true. <laughs> You didn't tell me he's, he remixed. I'm sorry, my 
<laughs> At the time, nobody knew. It was like, <laughs> like, damn, this sound familiar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, shit was a hit, bro. He got a standing ovation in that bitch. <laughs> I even heard clapping from the class. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I think she clapping. Uh but yeah. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> that was for you. I hope it, I'm trying to get on a remix. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's R. crazy. Auntie, she used to be a dancer. I wish cancer was a person so we could slide on cancer. Damn. Yeah, you're not making out the hood with that one, my brody. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, they say I ain't no rapper though. <laughs> <laughs> they said Tinder is gonna start charging five hundred dollars a month for like the highest tier. Five hundred dollars? It didn't tell me the feature. It didn't say release any of the features yet, like what it would entail. But yeah. what for five hundred dollars? <laughs> what do you think it should entail? As, as soon as I swipe left, the girl better be right next to me. <laughs> you ready, Daddy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pay five hundred dollars for this. <laughs> That's where I expected you to be. <laughs> the fuck? It got to give you guaranteed dates. But guaranteed <laughs> dates ain't enough. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> How many times I split into forty dollars? <laughs> I could spend that. <laughs> you can spend. That. <laughs> I can get straight to it. <laughs> you take forty dollars, five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That's hilarious. Nah, that, I saw on on five hundred dollars. I better do my taxes too. <laughs> <laughs> you better have turbo tax there was a, linked to this bitch. There was a clip circulating around about um, a guy that flew a girl out, and um, he got mad at her and started kicking her out because she wouldn't like sleep with him. You think that's the expectation the guy should have? If Predator. Find, I, I I I agree. But part of it. Part you think, of it. I'm just saying. Do you think that's an expectation that guys should have if you fly a girl out that you, you, you're going to have sex with her. Me, the, my whole thing is like, okay, if a girl don't want to have sex, she don't want to have sex. Yeah. It shouldn't even be a conversation after that. No, it wasn't a conversation. He was kicking her out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But no, he shouldn't have kicked her out, though, either, though. That's weird as fuck. But to me, <laughs> and like from what I know and the people I know, if a girl is flying out, that means she like really likes a guy and she wants to have sex. You think so? I think most of the people- You think she are, had to really like him? Yeah, 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 and I, I think, but I don't think so. But it's, but I, I think it's just weird that if she don't want to have sex, why are you kicking her out, bro? Because that's why he flew her out. For that's her. on you. It is, but then he doesn't have to keep her. You in should like, he should go in the mirror and look at myself. Like, <laughs> damn, how did I spend five hundred dollars on a girl and she doesn't? No, even he said five k. Doesn't want to be near me. She wanted to be near you. She just didn't want to have sex with him. They hung, they hung out all the, t- the time, yeah. dinner and everything. It is what it is. He shouldn't be kicking her out, though. Why? Like, legit, I'm not saying I agree or disagree, but I would want to know why. What what morality does he... Oh, it's a moral I thing. I don't know. Just know that shit wouldn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't spending 5K on... Fuck no. 5K is kind of a lot of money. That's kind of crazy. That's how you know he was a lame to begin with. you rather let your... Whoa. Wow. Buddy, come on, dude. I just... I just exposed myself. Beyonce performed in Dubai for twenty four million. Yeah, and then you saw uh, Blue Ivy was about to dance, and, and it was a meme that was saying like Beyonce said like, "Nah, they they need an extra twenty four million for that," because she kind of like started playing with her hair, kind of to get her to stop dancing, because she was like, you know, doing it was like a little dance she was doing. It wasn't like anything bad, but yeah, it just looked like it. You know, when somebody gives you that signal, like you out in the public with your parents, and kind of give you that look or that touch. Who that, gave her that look? Beyonce gave who that look? Blue Ivy. Oh, she was dancing. Yeah, yeah, they were on stage together. Oh, I think they were singing. It had to be brown skinned girls. Oh, okay. Because that's what she was on. I just saw the clip on on Twitter. Oh, I didn't see that. I saw a hunter, um, someone who's hunting. A hunter. Yeah. He got killed accidentally killed by his dog. He got he, killed by his dog. Yes. A Kansas hunter was accidentally shot dead by a dog that stepped on a rifle in the back of the pickup they were in. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, RIP dude, though. But, hey, if that shit ever happened to me, please lie about the way I died. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Tell somebody, hey, they slid on dog, some dog. Come on now. No, they got to they gotta, they gotta shoot back. Would you expect your friends to, to like, something happened to you and your dog did something to you? Would you... 
Would you expect me to revenge you? All, right, all I expect to hear is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Where you at? Not this nigga bumping King Vine in the background. <laughs> man, I'm, man, chill out. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. Holy shit. I bet that boy sleep with a shicey mask on. He got one, he got one on. <laughs> nah, nah. I don't sleep with no shicey. Not, 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 not the shicey. Where you from? I'm from New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> a bachi boy. <laughs> why is, hey, 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 why is that? <laughs> Why is why is the Pornhub your your bio? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, I, I play basketball, so my jersey number sixty nine because I get nasty on the court. <laughs> your jersey—that's the re- re- reason your jersey number sixty nine for real. Yeah, I get nasty on. The and court. that's crazy to be thinking of like sixty nine while you hooping with a bunch of dudes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is nasty. It's cool. You feel me? It's twenty twenty three. So that that prompted you to put that in your bio? No, nah, no, nah, I put that in my bio because I was like, man, you know, why not? Fuck it. You know, I seen a little female put it on there. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get that. You know, you, 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 you like that freaky shit, huh? All right, all right. So that's how you spit game? You just put, you just copied her bio? I just, you feel me? I, I I put put that in my bio, you know. You play college then, ball, no, or no, no, no? I got a real question. Hold on, you you put Pornhub in your bio, so when girls inbox you, they know it's freaky time or some shit. Yeah, it, it, yeah. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. My <laughs> I knew he was going. I knew he was going. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. That's insane. Hey, man. You, hey, think man, girl, you, say, you think hey, a girl? You think a girl actually don't gonna knock go pay? You say you tried now. What? Don't knock it till you try now. Oh, why would I try that <laughs> shit? That's so. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. There's no way that shit works. You play college nah, ball some, or nah, high school nah. ball? You, you put some other shit on, on, on the ground that was that, that somebody else said. That, they, they were pretty dumb. You, so you play college or high school? College, but I'm not hooping right now. I see why. why? He said, I see why. <laughs> <laughs> why are you hooping? <laughs> why? Why am? Uh, no, nah, I'm just chilling right now. It was grades, huh? No, no, they ain't got nothing to do with none of that. No, nah, I'm just chilling right now. I really, I'm really not even in school right now. I'm just working. Oh, you said so. Fun. You weren't really getting nasty on the court then. No, 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 no. Now <laughs> it has I to be family issues. Okay, I call it that. Okay, family issues. Okay. This nigga came on a comedian podcast, tried to bring his family into it. Don't do that shit no more. <laughs> Bro, you buzzing that bitch every time because I know you're going to say some hot shit. Illegal <laughs> is crazy. Busting some shit is crazy. Hey, nah, nah. I've been watching our little videos. I'm like, hey, yo, you, 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 you ain't missing that one time, bro. You, you hitting on the muscle. I don't understand that, man. <laughs> Boy, every every video you put on that thing, bro, you hitting every time. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I got a question for you. What's up? Would you rather cheat on your girl? Or your dad cheat on your mom? Man, I'd rather my dad cheat on my mom, honestly. <laughs> Why? He dead already, so it doesn't matter. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why does everybody keep on, the, on this podcast talking about their dad's dad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, man, I get, I, hey, man, Apple don't fall too far from the tree, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on, bro. Do you know what <laughs> Apple don't fall too far from the tree? Me? I know a little bit about the term. <laughs> no, that means you trying to die. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, man. I need to keep going in my life. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, brody. Appreciate hey, you coming appreciate on, man. You, you going to make the podcast, nigga. Good job. <laughs> Don't lie to me now. No. No, we were talking. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No. Hey. Hey, we put that on your pop. <laughs> uh, no, he's just playing. No, I'm playing. I repeat your dad, bro. Y'all good, man. Y'all good, man. No, no, no. We're play, not good. We're taking that shit back. No, we're taking that shit back. Forgive us. <laughs> Forgive us right now, nigga. <laughs> say, say you accept our apology. Good, good. Nah, nah. Say I forgive y'all. 
Oh, hey, hey, no, hey, I don't like how you making it force for me to say that now. <laughs> Come on, dog. Not you guys. Nah, y'all, y'all good. I forgive y'all, though. Y'all good. Now. Hey, hey, pause on that, though. <laughs> I knew you. Come on. Your parents together? Yeah. Okay. All right, this might be a decent question for you, then. Would you rather cheat on your girl or be the reason your parents divorce? Cheat on my girl. What? Damn. Damn. Fuck these bitches, bro. Fuck these bitches. Bro. Your girl. Your Whoa, girl. You been, it sounds like you've been hurt before. I have, bro. Damn. What happened? I don't, I don't even feel comfortable hey, hey, saying no, no, it, bro. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> hey, I know whatever it is, <laughs> fucks you up. Hey, a, a young nigga like you sighing like that. Oh, yeah. She fucks you up. What happened? Shorty, shorty cheated on me, bro. Oh, with who? With a square ass nigga. <laughs> Hey, it can't be too square. <laughs> nah, but, but what? <laughs> can't, right? It can't be too square. He fucked your bitch. But, uh, if I sent you the profile, bro, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Hey, he sent your profile to his friends, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this a dude, girl, I fuck. He ugly as fuck, ain't he? How'd you find out, though? Through her, bro. <laughs> she told you? Yeah, bro. Like, did you ask her or she just like woke up and told you one day? It's like I figured, but she, like I guess she caught on that like I was like kind of knowing. And she just told me. Bro. How you know? Well, how you know? What happened? Like, so like she came home smelling like burnt rubber. <laughs> no, we didn't live together. <laughs> what happened? How you know? I I seen her, but somebody seen her like in town, like. With the with the nigga, bro, and, and told me, yeah, man, life's fucked up, man. <laughs> and so she told you, and the person is the square. Tell me the person is square. Wait, is she, she with the person now? Yeah, 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 yeah. they still together. Yeah. Mm, how long you think it was going on? When it y'all was going on about two months. Two months? Yeah, that's just probably. If you think it's two months, then it was really probably a year. Yeah, hell yeah, but they and like, the other dude hap- the and the and the other dude happens to be the square. Yeah, you don't, you don't think they calling you a square right now? <laughs> nah, bro, I still I still be talking there, bro. Oh, you now you on the other side of it. Yeah, now you the side dude. Yeah. So she cheated on her new boyfriend with her old boyfriend that she was yeah, cheating on. Fu- it's all fucked up, bro. Wow. Wow, that's crazy, man. I never heard of uh, doubling back. So you double back. You had to, though, off of pride, though, right? Yeah, I had to. It was only right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, it's broken. <laughs> so why'd you side like that? You said what? That why'd shit you... hurt. Yeah, that shit hurt. It was my first love. Oh, shit. Damn. So it was good to have her back? So how I, do, no, the advice, city. no, 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 I, hold on. This is what I always say, because I want people really to, like, listen up. I want people to really, you know, visualize this, right? This will help you get through it, all right? Listen to this. Imagine she probably gave him head and came and kissed you. Bruh, what? Yeah, you That's never, you got, bro. You never thought of that? Hey, bro, if that don't make you a CEO, I don't know what will, man. <laughs> hey, you mix that with a little bit of E.T., you all right, nigga. <laughs> Listen to E.T. in the morning. Think about that at night. <laughs> Got you, bro. That should get you through the day. <laughs> or a psych ward, one or the other. So when you're cheating on your ex, with your ex, what is that conversation like? Are you Was it like, oh, you doing the same thing you were doing to me? No, it's just catching up, bro. Just catching up. Nah, yeah, this is a revenge game. It's cool, bro. Yeah, man. Well, I hope you find love, bro. I hope so too, man. Damn, why are you in the conversation like that? Say something positive. Uh, fuck these bitches. That's all I got. For That's me. positive. Oh God, Say bro. something positive. That's very man. positive. Very positive. Say something positive, man. All right. Just, just. Stay real, man. That's all I got. Oh my god! All right, bro. <laughs> if your child was switched at birth, and you found out three years later, I said if if your child was switched at birth, and you found out three years later, would you rather have your biological child or the one that you raised? 
shit. It was biological. I ain't gonna lie, because I, I was a foster kid, so I'm kind of biased. <laughs> I was a foster kid, I was adopted, and nobody ever loves, like, the foster kid or, like, the step kid as much as they love their actual kid. Mm. So you keeping the kid... You So what you doing with the adopted kid? So what you doing with the kid that's not biologically yours? I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not getting with the most sobbing story. And then and just did that. Yeah, what? <laughs> so it's all this sentimental sh- it's all this sentimental stuff for your real kid, but to the kid that you've been raised for three years, it's over like that? Hey, shit, the parent gonna make the separation anyway. So. What's your last words to the kid before they go? Happy day. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's no not gonna count. I'll be back. <laughs> what type? My hope nope. is better than no hope. <laughs> Nigga, did you just clap? I did. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. All right, brother. Appreciate you coming on, man. Oh, yeah. Good looking for having me. No, peace. How y'all doing? Good yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, my boy. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. I've been listening to y'all for a little bit now. Oh, bet, 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 bet. All right, I got a question for you. All right, what's the question? Is this Rico? (laughs) Yeah. All right, would you rather cheat on your girl or... Your dad cheat on your mom. Damn. My dad cheat on my mom because we're going to break the generational cycle of that. Huh? I'm, it ends here. It ends with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did your dad already cheat on your mom? Probably. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I know he was. You know what? <laughs> you know, let me tell you. Oh, you just unlocked a memory for me. Thank you for it. Hold up. Because my dad gave me his old phone one time. And I went in it. He didn't delete no contact, no nothing. It was the old black curtains, the ones with the little, mm-hmm. they still had the keyboard on it. Uh-huh. And I was going through messages and shit. And I was like, who are these naked bitches on this mom dad's phone? Because they're not my mom. Because they're not my mom. <laughs> Wait, so you know what your mom body look like. you like, hey, my mama. I mean, my mom, you know, a little bit, a little bit heavier. You know what I'm saying? And these are some skinny bitches. So I'm like, this thing added up. <laughs> Did you ever bring it up to him? Nah, I bro, I deleted all that shit. I deleted all it. <laughs> but you know what I did though? He told me not to be on the internet or whatever. And I, I just ran up his bill one time. I was like, "This is tax." And I was like, "Cause like every time you access the internet on the black they charge you a little bit." Mm-hmm. So I just be on there at school and shit, just doing whatever. Oh, that was. <laughs> did you, you so you didn't try to text any of those girls back? Nah, nah. You just left it at that? No, nah, because I didn't know what to do. Like, I was like, bro, yeah, I was young. I was like 10. My dad was like, look, you're going to use this because I used to walk to school. So, so, just in case anything ever happened, you know? Yeah, yeah. So and you so, never going to tell your mom? Bro, how do you even, like, start that conversation? My dad's cheating on you? <laughs> I mean, she already left him for other reasons. So whatever oh, so. he did was already bad enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. So it all worked out. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. And now with some other dude turn with him. your mom. Huh? Now with some other dude turn with your mom. So it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I don't like the new dude. I don't like him. <laughs> oh, you don't like the new dude either? No, he a problem. Thanks for all coming right, on, man. Good, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? What? you say? Whoa, whoa. Oh, love y'all. Like, love y'all podcast and type shit. Nah. Well, then why did you say that, that then? Huh? Why don't you just say that then? Because, like, y'all the ones who make it. Yeah, but you say love y'all. Yeah, like, it's it's all love. Like, Yeah, just say that then. All right, let's uh, rest- we can restart this. Come on, go ahead. All right, bro. See you later. All right, see you later, bro. Take care, y'all. Love the podcast. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said love you. That shit kind of threw me off. Love y'all. Yo, what's up? What's good? What's good? Yo, uh, so fucking, all right. <clears throat> so I fucking write graph and shit, right? What's and a so, graph? Uh, graffiti. Like, I be writing graffiti and shit, right? Yeah, oh, that's a nickname for graffiti? <laughs> yeah. 
call it grab. It's just like a little short term, basically, right? Okay. But so you can't really do that shit like in public during the daytime unless it's like like a good spot that's kind of tucked away. So you got to go out at nighttime shit to be able to like really do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And whenever you first trying to get dating a chick, they always like texting you in the middle of the night, like 2 a.m. Like, what, what the fuck? You ain't hitting back since like 10 o'clock. Where you at? So, like, how would y'all break to a chick, basically, that you can't tell them what you're doing at night, but you're not cheating, while also not seeming like you're cheating? Why, you, can't, why you can't tell them that you're just doing, doing graffiti? graffiti? That nigga acting like he Batman or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how real shit, like, when you write and rap, like, like it's kind of like a persona, you know what I'm saying? Like You, you, make, money really- from, you make money from doing graffiti? But you can't tell Shorty because you don't know if she cool like that yet, you know what I mean? No, you make money from this? I can. <laughs> How? Can or we said do you make money from graffiti? I mean I can make money from the Do shit. you currently make money from doing graffiti? Man, I've made like fifty bucks off a fucking canvas so far, all right? I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's not about money, you know what I'm saying? It's more so about something me. <laughs> I feel you though, bro. That's crazy to think that you got to hide graffiti from a girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, no, and I'm saying like when you first starting out dating, and then you can't really like tell her that because you don't know if she's you just cool, told like, us though. <laughs> hey, that, that's a wild thing to snitch on somebody for. Hey, hey, hey police, do I have something right. for y'all, bro? You won't tell your girl that you do graffiti, <laughs> but you just told two guys on the podcast. Well, see, y'all don't know who I am yet. Yes, we do. We got your whole Instagram. (laughs) What are you talking about? The whole Instagram from a different thing on a different motherfucker. It's good on you, I'll tell you that. Okay, okay, okay. We still reporting you, nigga. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I got it set up cool. It's good. Hey, we'll see you at your next graffiti art. There'll be a couple cops around. (laughs) Say less. I'm uh, I'm out of there. It's hot (laughs) day. All right, bro. Peace. Appreciate you, brody. All right, so. Long story short, I went to a bar. It was a club, actually. I met this girl and this dude. We hit it off that night. So we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You guys have explained it. What you mean y'all hit it off? All right, so I'm at the, I'm at the club. I'm kind of tipsy at the point at that point i remember meeting them don't remember their names don't remember where the hell they said they were from but they were new to dallas so it's a girl and a guy they're friends or so they said some shit (laughs) and the dude he was cool the girl she was over overly freaky and at the time i'm like you know what what's what trey what's overly freaky and did you go to the bar by yourself yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's some shit that should be banned. Nobody should be able to enter a bar by themselves. But uh, what's overly freaky? Uh, if you, all right, she may not be overly freaky, but freaky too fast. <laughs> this nigga just naming shit. What is freaky too fast? Like if I meet you and you tell me you want to suck my dick thirty minutes after that. <laughs> Not a That's, thing. That's not a thing, but go ahead, continue. And I don't know, we were talking, we were friendly as hell, and we ended up back at my place. Somehow. Wait, you and who? Me, the girl, and the dude. <laughs> oh, the shit. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. I just never invited a couple back to my house. I'm so afraid of the end of this story. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, I was in my bed, and... I normally, like, when I wake up after one of the nights, it's like there's a bunch of, like, drinks. I get I get cotton mouth real easy. So I'm expecting bottles in my bed. And I have this girl's legs wrapped around my fucking chest. She passed out. And then I'm, like, freaking out because I'm like, ah, this, she's not moving. I, I did something last night. <laughs> but... She, Hold on. Did you accuse yourself of murder? <laughs> that is... That's exactly what the fuck I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> did this just ha- like, bro, do we need to call the cops or something like that? <laughs> no, no, no. She, she woke up after a while. 
<laughs> well, where's the dude in this? He passed out in my bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's going on? Uh, I didn't remember him immediately, but after a while, I like I started getting flashes from the night before, <laughs> and apparently, I invited him over. <laughs> Yeah, it's usually how niggas get in your house. <laughs> like, oh my so, god! I'm like, hey, I'm sure we had fun last night. Let's not make this a habit, and I've never seen him again. <laughs> Let's not make this a habit. Is a crazy statement. That's a crazy line, bro. <laughs> so you, so you had sex with her, and he fell asleep in your bathroom. Yeah, I think he he was sick as fuck. That was his girl. I don't really know. They said they were <laughs> friends, but they were they were kind of touchy. Trey, some weird shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Trey, I want to know. Like you said, you don't remember what happened last night. How you know? Like, you know? Uh, because the rappers were all over the ground. <laughs> what? Okay. So I I assumed they were mine. <laughs> <laughs> Man. How many rappers were on the ground, bro? I don't know. I I picked up a handful of them. Oh my god, it's like a tray, bro. <laughs> this man picking up stuff they don't even know is his. <laughs> oh no, I I use gloves. I, I got rid of that um those blankets and everything because you never know. <laughs> what the? What just happened? <laughs> I'm so confused, bro. Uh, what just happened? When did it happen? No, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> saying, why, how, how do we get to this story? It was the question. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. The question. Yeah, I'd rather wake up in somebody else's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> no, way. no way he just finished the question like that. All um, right, I got one more question before you go, too. All right. All right. You, you just died. Now you have the option to pick. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. If you have to replace your parents with celebrities, who would you pick? Damn. It's just a hard one. Um, I don't want to sound like no fucking no bozo. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I guess I'll replace my dad with Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> why? Cause he up and rising, you know what I'm saying? And he get all the hoes. So like, <laughs> like if he brag like, yo, my dad back with Jordan, he get all the hoes. And he a bag your mom. Wait, how old are you? I'm 22. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is like 31. <laughs> Bro, this nigga barely older than you. Oh shit. Uh fuck. <laughs> nah, shit, you good. Uh, you can you can, you can be, be yeah, you can be back with Jordan. But that's it's crazy. Imagination though. Yeah, imagination, yeah, true, true, true. You know imagination. It's crazy to have a 30 year old dad, but uh right. all right, all right, all right, who, who, you who your mom? <laughs> you uh, shit. Who my mom? Who my mom? Uh-huh. I guess Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> why Whoopi? That's a weird ass combination too. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, <laughs> but why Whoopi Goldberg? I don't know. It, it sounds like it feels like um. Well, it seems like that she's very you know interesting person. You know, very um. I guess open minded and well known around the community. <laughs> oh no. So you pick Michael B. Jordan with no explanation, but Whoopi Goldberg got a heart. No, it's, it's Michael B. Jordan, though. <laughs> nah, hold on. Let me think. It's so hard as question. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> no. I can't think of bad. No, we're laughing. Like, you said it's Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> though, bro. It's like, the way you said it is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Chill, chill. But now, uh. <laughs> The reason why I don't want to pick like a like a celebrity that's bad as hell, come be looking at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you just said Michael B. Jordan because he get the hoes. Yeah. So you think Michael B. Jordan is attractive? I wouldn't say that. I would. I mean, <laughs> bro, it's okay. He, to, it's okay to he, be free, bro. Little, you know what I'm saying? You said it, not me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Wait, what's going? What's going on here? I didn't say that. <laughs> I mean, I mean. You gotta get credit for him credit is good. If you're being honest here. No, he's not. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, Brody. All right, man. Appreciate y'all. Nah, appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Hello. 
Hey, Mike. How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Crash Me's Podcast. Well, hey, Pat. How are you doing? I'm good. How I've never you? seen this, like, great energy come off of a caller. <laughs> From both of us, too. <laughs> I know. Very, very great energy. Okay. Yeah. One, happy birthday. It's a birthday Thank shout you. Out. Thank you, thank you. Anything you want to say to the viewers? I thought you were 25. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I'd be 25. Go ahead. That was ridiculous. <laughs> no, <I> was like, <laughs> what? what are you uh, trying to say, Pat? I look older? No, 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 no. That was uh, just... Uh, no, no, no. It was just... That don't mean that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I got a question for you. No. Okay. If your child was switched at birth and you found out three years later, would you rather have your biological child or the, the one that you raised? Uh, say that again. If your child was switched at birth and you uh -huh. found out three years later, would you rather biological child or the one that you raised? Um, definitely my biological child. Mm. Uh, so where the, so where medical, the, so where the one uh, that you raised going? I, we don't find a return to sender, I guess. <laughs> um, but you know, three I mean, years I though. Think, I think. I mean, that's just three years. Um, like, I know, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably, I'll keep the one. Oh, I got to switch. No, I got to get my biological child. Because what if my biological turns out to be, like, famous or, mm. you know, a doctor? Watch, or, with your or, genes, that shit, you would, that, that shit would hurt so much more if somebody that looked just like you was, like, a star. You know, and they'd be like, shout out to my mom for raising me. I'm like, whoa, that was me. You but know, you like, can still do that with the child that you're raising. Nah, cause if, I, if I end up raising a bum, then you know, I, yeah, no, mm -mm. I need to pick the one that I gave birth to and take that risk. That's my blood, you know. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. I yeah. appreciate you coming on, though. Happy birthday! Thank you so much, y'all. Y'all have a good one. You too. Good if y'all got any birthdays, some of y'all can call in. Some of y'all can't. <laughs> Say it again? No, I'll just talk to the viewers. My fault. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I can call in. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. But right. thank y'all. Oh, Appreciate shit. It. What? What happened? I'm still sitting on that thousand from last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello? Yo. Yo. What's good? Why you sound like you kind of rushed to the phone? You sound out of breath. Oh, I was, oh, man. I had to walk outside, man. <laughs> oh, this is. Hey. Why you got a terrible two year old. Oh, sleep. Nah, he up, but he louder than me. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That is crazy. Some people don't care. They just calling our shit and they can't be in the background <laughs> screaming. Man, hey, look, man, I don't want y'all hear me DDT my son. So <laughs> I said, step outside. Yeah, we're calling CPS after this conversation, nigga. <laughs> nah. Hey, <laughs> as long as they know karate, hey, they might, they might got a change. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. We got a couple of questions. We got a couple of questions for you. Someone offers you ten million dollars to cut off communication with your parents. Which parents are you doing it, and which parent are you choosing? I'm gonna do my daddy and uh. What? Oh, what's up? That was quick. That was quick as hell. My dad. Hey, I mean he passed away, so hey. <laughs> All right, P, bro. <laughs> so why are you laughing? <laughs> Cause um, it just tickled me, man. I mean, it ain't no much communication I can have with. <laughs> Bro, your dad's dead. Yeah, I, God, hey, God is me again. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, That's the only it, way I can talk to him. Is, <laughs> is this? <laughs> <laughs> what <the> fuck? <laughs> Why are we laughing at his dad being dead? Is this some beef going on? No, nah, it ain't no beef going on. <laughs> well, I guess not no more. Is he still alive? Nah, yeah, not no more. <laughs> I mean, uh, I said, is he still alive? I said, um, if he was still alive, no, how he died. Uh, just old age. Oh, okay. So you got older pops. Yeah, I got older pops, man. Okay. I think my sister was like 20 when I was born. Oh, shit. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'll preach to your dad, man. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, RP, man. That's my guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, bro. Thanks you for coming. You too fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Peace. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Questions from Reddit. Um, 
If you could have a song as your security alarm when somebody breaks into your house, what song would you play? Should have duck. I love dirt. Come on now. So you wait. You don't think that would get them more pumped up? Huh? You don't think that would get them more pumped up? No, 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 no. Nah. You don't think that would get them turned up? Nah. You don't think so? Nah. The, would you want me to get a song that like turned them down? Yeah, because I think it said it's what he said, like when you jump first, you better shoot first. Oh damn, that might get them. <laughs> you might be giving him ideas like, oh shit, he really bought that shit. <laughs> I, then what should I play though? <laughs> How do I calm them down? <laughs> Play this. They're gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they might come in there for real. <laughs> What's that shit you promised? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> no, nah, that'd be fucking crazy. Uh, there was a. Uh, <laughs> Nah, this is what I play for real. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get demonetized, but we'll see. We definitely get demonetized. If you don't hear the music, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you getting them turned. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Motivate the shit out of. What's the song if the YouTube listeners didn't hear that? What? What song was that? Me versus me by Money Bag Yo. Okay. Shout out to Money Bag Yo. Audio, I mean, video listeners, actually. You probably didn't even hear that. Audio listeners, you guys are good. Oh, yeah. We can just drop it on audio. Yeah, yeah. They can't do nothing on audio. They can't come get us on audio. But anyway, um, I saw a tweet about LeBron's son, Ronnie. Damn, he said that shit's slow as hell. I want to start talking a little bit slower. Why? So, bro, my no. words go clear. I'm That's that shit annoying. Bro. I'm done. You about to quit? Yeah. Nigga, walk off then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why'd you, why'd you, you give me that, like, nigga, you for real? <laughs> nah, when niggas say that, you got to do it. Because it's like a nigga daring you. What the- <laughs> it's like a nigga say, hit me then. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Nah, I've never tried to hit somebody when they said hit me then. Pause. How was that? Pause, Pause Mike in the chat. That's not even a real one. But anyway, um, people are saying, it was a tweet that said that, LeBron's son, Bronny, is only getting a four-star and five-star recruit and is due to nepotism, meaning um, because of who their father is. Audio listener, he think y'all dumb as fuck. I'm talking about but, just anybody that might nah. not know the meaning. But, um, but yeah, no. The thing is, he probably would be ranked higher if his dad wasn't LeBron James. You think so? I think people are a lot harder on him. Yeah. I think... Bro, he's literally ranked like 20-something in the country. Why wouldn't he be a four-star any four star basketball player can go anywhere in the country. Yeah, I think so, his dad obviously makes him get looked at a lot more. Yeah. And but I still think his grade is probably fair because they get to watch his. They actually get to watch him. They watch him more than they probably watch any other kid in, in high school. Exactly. The only thing that his dad gets him more is like his nil deal is ten times bigger than he yeah. <laughs> like even if you like a great player mm-hmm. like. Wagner or whatever his name is that go to Kentucky, like his biggest NIL deal probably a million. Bronny probably gonna be reaping in. Yeah, but Bron- Bronny's already making money now. Yeah, he been with the I phase mean, gaming and all that stuff. He already too. been in commercials and stuff too. So it's it's like I I guarantee he pick USC. Yeah, it's almost like I can't see him going to Ohio State. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's like he's he been living in like California, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe Oregon. Actually, it's out of Oregon and USC. Did you see um the the Scooby Doo uh, reboot, no. <laughs> so it's called. I saw I seen a Scooby Doo uh, thing, no. The reboot? Nah, it was. It came out on Halloween. Which one? It's on Pornhub, <laughs> but no. <laughs> but uh, Jinkies. Th- there's a reboot called um, Fred and Velma. Was it's called Velma? Oh, Velma's a F- Fred and Daphne. That's what I meant. Velma's a um, African American girl. Mm-hmm. I think Daphne is mixed. Mm-hmm. Shaggy looks oh, I gotta look at the cast It's a new movie? No it's a show It's a series Oh this shit about to be stupid <laughs> People are saying this, I haven't seen it But people are saying It's uh, it's very bad Because it's like They're trying to be too woke In it 
Yeah. Uh, let me see. So this is how she looks. That's Velma right there. Oh, it's a cartoon? Yeah, it's a cartoon. Why are you watching that shit, man? <laughs> Shaggy, this look how Shaggy looks. Oh, hell they, no. <laughs> they gave, they gave yeah, Shaggy, Shaggy dreads. Shaggy look like Coolio. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> they gave Shaggy dreads. Well, who'd they make the dog? That's a good question. But anyway, the show is just way too woke. And I think <laughs> I think in this like in this new age of people trying to be like, you know, changing the <laughs> Changing the, the the, I know people just trying to be on like they'll make somebody which I have no problem with mm-hmm. just putting that out there they'll make some uh, new character who everybody used to call like you know like let's say oh we saw this character like guys it was so the character from um, Proud Family the little kid or something that was there there was a little flamboyant and uh-huh. the new Proud Family he's gay ah. Right, so exactly. it'd be characters like that. It'd be yeah. like, oh, he thought he would be gay, and now people are making them. Mm-hmm. You know, people. I just it's just annoying. Like people, I, the people that got a problem with it, just go watch the old one, bitch. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I ain't watching no Black Mermaid. Okay, yeah. nigga, go it's, get your VHS out. Yeah, and put in. And watch I think the, I think sometimes the problem people have with that because it seems forced. Yeah, right. Like the director is trying to make a statement, but that's part of sales, though. Yeah, that's it's always a big part mm-hmm. of sales because it's just the the new wave is bigger than the old wave. Yeah, it's more people that are trying to be on the right side of history, accepting everything, and letting people be who they want to be than the people that are trying to keep it. Yeah, like oh, we don't like that. We don't like new. I so th- that's what directors are selling to. Shit, we don't even know if they believe in it. Yeah, or not. but you like we both have uh, friends who are. Um lesbian gay and stuff like that but <laughs> what you <laughs> stop bro you nah, got yeah, yeah. stop no we both got friends yeah yeah my fault yeah Pops I'm, Mike in the chat. No, I'm just cutting that out I'm not letting that you say that <laughs> but um <laughs> I can't bro because there's begin to it'd be sometimes it'd be people talking too much shit in the comments Why are you talking in the mic like it's, <laughs> no 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 that's good but um what was I telling you but yeah we both have friends like that and then um but a lot of them don't. I feel like in the cartoons and or in the series, sometimes it seems like they're like shouting it a lot more, where it doesn't seem like it's like a normal thing to us. It's very, it, it seems very normal, but I feel like sometimes in those series they make it like it's not a normal thing. That you know, it's just like it don't know. It's just it just seems again. It just going back to it, it seems forced. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's a, they know it's gonna make money. Like yeah, I, nothing I think, makes money without like everything has to be controversial mm-hmm. or a remake. Yeah. And it's either, as a director, you stick to the remake hard as hell, yeah. and you like, I just want to recreate this so people can feel this again with the actors that match the old actors, or they just try to deter all the way away from it. You know something that felt natural? You know, like the the lesbian uh, girls in um, Orange is New Black? Yeah. That felt very natural. But, that, but that's not a remake, though. It's not a remake, but it's its own thing, though. Yeah. I get you. I get it. I get it. The remake is what people are mad at. Yeah. It's like, oh, you remade that, and that person didn't used to be that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not even real people half the time. <laughs> the animation. <laughs> That's how you know somebody racist. Yeah. <laughs> they changed the goddamn mermaid. <laughs> you stuck on the mermaid thing. Hell yeah. There was did, that move, did that show even come out there? Yeah, it been came out. For real? Yeah. I've never seen it. Why would you? Why? I would never go see the mermaid to begin with. Why? I just wouldn't. So it was a good uh, series back just in the day. Not, I, I just never. You wouldn't watch The Little Mermaid? Mm-mm. It's not intriguing to me. Oh, that's kind of shallow of you. Wow. Well, You're right. about to go support that black queen. No, 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 no. Go support then. Support. I mean, my. <laughs> he said support. My, t- my support. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> my $10 ain't going to do shit for that box office. <laughs> yes, it will. No, it ain't. Yes, it was. Everybody said the same thing you said. Come on, we have to go watch The black, uh, Mermaid. I'm straight. <laughs> Literally? Yeah. Okay. Good on that. So you wouldn't watch so you don't what so what movies would you not like watch with your friends? Is there certain movies you wouldn't watch with your friends together, like go to movies with? Or certain movies you wouldn't watch with your friends, period. Yeah, any like rom coms. You wouldn't watch a rom com with your friend? Nah. Uh, what about a romantic movie? Watch it any movie, like it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Why is that crazy? <laughs> That's crazy. Why? I couldn't imagine watching a movie with you. I've never we watched seen movie, a movie. We watched movies together before. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> bro, we have. 
In college. Nah. Yes, we have, bro. What movie? Uh, like on a bus on the way to a game? Yeah. yeah. Shared, shared headphones and everything. Nah, fuck Yes, we, well, we, we had to split headphones. We shared headphones? How else we watch the same movie on the bus? Man, fuck out of here, bro. It's playing on the screen <laughs> on the bus. We never had those type of buses. That boy lying. What are you talking about? Oh, we my God. This man is capping for the podcast, bro. It's okay, bro. What? It's okay, bro. You are a... <laughs> <laughs> you doing too much <laughs> Why the fuck were you watching a movie on the phone We got TVs on the bus We did have TVs on the bus huh Yeah I forgot all about that That's crazy That was just crazy <laughs> You just told a whole lie No I didn't It was true though I know. We actually never been on the same bus And I think about it Yes we it. have There's an offense and defense bus Yes we have When? It was- <laughs> <laughs> Lying ass. I was about to say so so out of here. What you, nah, I don't even know. <laughs> don't even put me in that shit. Man, Paul's making it. Oh my god, you got me. Oh, if if somebody knows the type of bus I was about to say, just let me know in the comments. Nah, <laughs> the casting bus. Nah, nah, no. Nah, anyway, we can end the podcast there. Yeah, you're done, bro. <laughs> This is episode 82. This is with episode 82 of Crash Dummies Podcast. This is actually shot. What time is it right now? It's 10.33 no, no, p.m. No, no, no. lie about the time. 10.30 a.m. No, no. It's 10.33 p.m. on a Tuesday. So as you're part of the Patreon and you get the podcast the day of, just just chill. Damn. I so sold Patreon, my people. Don't listen to Mike, bro. I'm going to get y'all the podcast. Yeah, we get them the podcast early. Let me get y'all the podcast. It's ad free. Some, sometime we I'm drop it on the Tuesday. Podcast, man. Shut the fuck up. Sometime man. we drop the podcast on Tuesday, early Tuesday for Patreon people. But like days like today where life happens, sometimes we have to shoot the day before. That doesn't happen. But for people that want to subscribe to the Patreon, go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon. It's only $1 right now. Um, it's $1 right now, but soon in a couple of months, especially with all these deals that we're signing, um, yeah, we're going to start putting out two episodes. Maybe a week or maybe like a bonus episode, one bonus episode a month on Patreon. So, yeah, subscribe to the Patreon, subscribe to YouTube. Audio listeners, I don't know what the fuck y'all going to do. Whoa. I'm just being real. Oh, yeah, leave us a rating. There you go. That's what you can do for us. Thank you.